So I'm going to have a quick uh, video about questionnaire questions and things to look out for. Um, first of all, make sure that if you're looking at a question and you've got to assess what is wrong with it, it could potentially be what is known as a leading question. A leading question is a question that is leading you to a particular answer. So, for example, going along the gym theme, um, let's say uh, the only way that you are going to keep fit is by going to the gym. Do you go to the gym? A question like that um, is trying to guilt you, and it's like a guilt trip, and trying to push you towards saying, right, agreeing with the original person who's written the questionnaire. Okay, so someone might write a questionnaire and be so convinced of, of the correct answer in a certain case that they may write the question such a way that it would be leading people towards that answer. Okay, so you've got to be very wary. Questionnaires should be, um, you know, uh, they shouldn't have any influence upon your answer. So let's look at this question. Let's say that this question was in a questionnaire. How often do you go to the gym? Um, so, really, it's a question that could be answered um, as in words and probably would require it. It might be uh, every day, um, it might be um, every week, it might be once a month, it could be once a year, okay? Let's reword this question and put something like this. Um, how many times do you go to the gym? Okay? I don't, it doesn't appear that I've really changed the question that much, but there is a problem with it now. How many times do you go to the gym? So now, there is no time frame. There's no particular time frame. It's not saying how many times do you go to the gym in a week, or how many times do you go to the gym in a month, okay? Um, so, you know, that makes it difficult. So, you would need to change the question, modify it, to something like, in a month. It wouldn't make sense to say, how many times do you go to the gym in a day, okay? But in a month, that seems reasonable. Now, what would you follow that up with? Well, the follow-up would be some form of response section that you could fill in. Okay, something that is easy to tick. So, it might be that you just have uh, once. Okay, or it could be twice. Or three times a week, or three times a month, sorry, or four times a month, or it could be five or more, okay, for example. And the good thing about this is, well actually, I've missed something off, because it could be potentially that you just don't go to the gym. Okay, the list must be exhaustive, so it must take into account that it could be zero. And it must also allow you to put in more than the numbers that have been allocated. So we could have zero, one, two, three, four, or five or more. So there are enough boxes that give it reasonable depth and reason for you answering it and to collect that data. And also, you can't have something like 1.5, one and a half trips to the gym, okay? So this is discrete data, and it's not continuous. So this works as a response section to the question that has now been set.